Hi, welcome to another episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter. Where, well, where should I start at? I made a mistake. We'll talk about it here in just a moment. But first, remember to hit that subscribe button down here below. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the like button, the share button, all those kind of buttons there. But while I got you on that, let's do a little bit of mind reading. Or mind control. Hit the red button. Here we go. Hit the red button. Yeah. Take your mouse. Run it over to the red button. And click. And while you're there, hit that all button. Ring that bell. Okay. Alright, now we got that done. Maybe. Um, did I make a mistake? Yeah, I did. So yesterday, I was out here filming. And everything was going smooth, no problems. I got inside to download my stuff. And I realized that on my chronograph, on my readout, on my, on my um, pad, I forgot to put the weight of the arrow in the um, uh, box. Yeah, I screwed that up. Because I, since I got this new chronograph, this uh, Pro Chrono DLX by Competition Electronics, I want to keep all my graphs. I want to see what my graphs are looking at when I do speed tests. So that's always has something to fall back on. Maybe I have trouble, my, I don't feel my crossbow is going as fast, or maybe I, or, or whatever. I can go back and I can look at read, read, chronograph, check my data. So, yeah, I screwed that up. But anyways, what we're doing here today though is we're doing a speed test comparison. Uh, the kinetic energy, the momentum, all that stuff. Between the Evo center punch arrow and the uh, Black Eagle Zombie Slayer modified by w w Wavering Creations. So that's what we're going to be doing. So just to recap of some of the differences here, I'll make sure I try to get it up here for you as best I can. You see these have the new knocks on here. It has the aluminum knock. It's basically for higher speed crossbows. But they do work with the lower speed crossbows too. Because this one here is just a plastic insert. This is an aluminum insert. You can tell right here that they're exactly the same. And the fletchings are about a half inch difference. We're looking at thinking about a two and a half inch fletching here and a three inch fletching here. So we got that little bit of a difference and a little bit a little bit of a difference in the weight configuration in the front. And we get of course the um, Zombie Slayers are coming in at about 531 and the Center Puncher coming in at about 477. So we're going to do a speed test in comparison between the two and see which one I'm going to use. And I'm also using my new cheek pad. Um, when I was out here yesterday with it, I like it. It just gives me some good cheek, good rise, so I can see my scope. All right. How about let's sending the first arrow downrange? Speed test. Arrow number one. The center punch. Three hundred fifty-four. Three fifty-four. Okay. I kind of like that voice that uh, puts out the the, uh, the speed, so you really don't have to look at it. Oop. I don't think I had it set in there properly. All right. Back this out of here. All right. So 
for arrow number two. Let's see. Center punch. Three hundred fifty two. Three fifty two. So I'm only doing five arrows. Because you notice in my last video, I had one that uh, the fletching was coming off. I called Wayburn and I sent an email, and they are going to replace or fix the um, um, fletching. So even though it's one fletching, it's set at about a 2% offset, and it's a brand new arrow, I don't want to mess with it. So that's why I decided I'm going to send that to them. So I don't screw it up, a brand new arrow. Alright, arrow number three, center punch. Three hundred fifty four. Yeah. Okay. So my catch isn't catching. So I gotta be real careful here. I'm probably gonna have to go inside and fix it again. But I fixed it once before. And it was real simple. It wasn't any rocket science to fixing it. Okay, arrow number four. Center punch. Okay. And you notice I got my bog death grip out here. I don't got my portable shooting table out here, my uh, Primos thing, lead sled. It's because I'm finding it easier to use its chronograph with the bog. Okay. Oh, safety. 353. Okay, and the last shot. Out of here, get this ready. All right, I guess yeah, this would be shot number five with the center punch arrows. Then we'll move over to the zombie slayers. Three hundred fifty-four. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm going to collect those arrows. We'll come back and uh, see what the graph is starting to say. Don't go nowhere. Okay, so 
what are we telling us so far? Uh, kinetic energy on number one was 132.8. They have a power factor on here, a power factor of 168. So it looks like I'm doing about an average of 132 with a power factor of 168. So I don't know if the, so it just has the power factor on here. It doesn't uh, really tell me much. I got to figure out what the power factor is. I'll, I'll have to look that up on their website. Okay. All right, so let's go to the zombie slayers and see what they are telling us. So zombie slayer number one. Three hundred thirty seven. Three thirty seven. All right. Number one. Yeah. It's starting to warm up out here a little bit. We gotta probably good inch of rain this afternoon. It came in and it came in fast with no. a downpour no. and it rained for no. probably no. two hours. No. No? Okay. How long? Five hours. Five hours? Yeah. Wow. That's a long time, huh? Okay. So I got my engineer out here. Huh. You my engineer? Yeah? Okay. Shot number two, zombie slayer. 336. 336. No, five. Five? Yeah. Five what? <laughs> Five feet per second? Yeah, that's kind of slow, huh? Yeah. No, we're not. No? Fast enough? Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty. So this will be shot number three with the zombie slayer. What? What? Say zombie slayer. Can you say zombie slayer? Don't say it out. Okay, number three. Three hundred thirty-six. Three thirty-six. No, five. Five. <laughs> Okay. Five what? Yeah, I thought I All right, so Zombie Slayer number four. No, fly trail. Zombie Slayers? Yeah. Hey, back up a little bit. Right, get behind me. Yeah. Get behind me. There you go. All right. Three hundred thirty-five. Okay. Three 
35. No, five. Five? Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to go on to shot number five. And we'll five. see how we do. Then we'll five. go inside. And uh, five. bring the graphs up. Five. Five. And see how we do. Well, I'll give a quick peek here in just a moment of what the graphs are looking like. All right, shot number five. Zombie Slayer. Three hundred thirty-six. Okay. All right. Let me get my eyeballs here. I'll take a quick look at those before we go in. All right. So we got a power factor of 178, so we're about 10 power factors higher. And it looks like the kinetic energy probably average 133 or so. Okay. So we'll take these in and uh, get some graphs and go from there. So see you inside. Okay, so you can see that we're inside now, and we're going to do a comparison between the zombie slayers and the center punch arrows. Um, I tried downloading it off my chronograph, but I ran into a few issues. So I've had to email them to me and set this whole thing up, and yeah, it's turning into us quite an adventure. Okay, so... Let's just get started. So the first one here is the graphs. We see the speed graphs here. This is the zombie slayer here. And this one over here is the um, center punch arrows. So we had 337, 336, 336, 335, and 336 were an average of 336 on the zombie slayers. On the center punch, we had 354, 352, 354, 356, three, I'm sorry, 353, 354 for an average of 353. So not a bad spread. So let's go over to the chart. What I call a chart. The first one here is the center punch. The one thing I like here with this, this setup is it gives me the temperature, the outside temperature of 70, uh, the barometric pressure of 30.0. Okay, the weight is three, is 477. Again, I got a, I got a call. Um, um, competition electronics and see what they mean by power factor. But with that said, it's at 168 which ain't bad. Uh, we did five shots. The maximum for minimum was 352. The maximum was 254 the, for the two feet per second spread. Um, the average was um, 353. So the standard deviation, we call it one, but that's okay. So you see all that right there. It even gives you 905, 906, 908, 909, 910 times. Okay. Uh, power factor and all that. So let's go over to the zombies. We're still at 70 degrees. Um, Barometric pressure is 30. Bullet weight. 
531. Power factor average is 178, low was 177, and the high was 179. Five shots. The minimum short was 335. The high was 337, again, with a two feet per second spread with an average of 336, standard deviation of one. So you can see here, the uh, foot-pounds, uh, 133, 32, 33, 33, and 34. It's not bad. Power factor, 178 and 179. And, of course, my times. So we didn't do too bad there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move. I got three. I have three uh, things we're going to use. Um, we're going to use real tree. Then we're going to use uh, death by bungee and grumpy old hunter. So and I'll put the links to those down below in the description. So let's start with. Real tree and see what they say here. So we will start with the center punch arrows. And let me bring that up here for you. There we go. Okay. So the arrow weight is 477. Uh, the speed average was 353. So let's see what it says. Okay, so the kinetic energy averages we're saying here is um, 131.96. And the momentum in slugs, 748. Okay. All right, let's go over here. Let's do, reset this, boom, and now we're going to do the zombie slayers, um, arrow weight is 350, I'm sorry, oops, 531, and the arrow speed, 336, and boom so it's saying 133.09 so the kinetic energy went up and 792 in slugs so just a quick comparison here the center punch is 131.96 in kinetic energy and the um, Zombie Slayer is 133.09. Slugs for the center punch is 748. And the slugs for the Zombie Slayers, 792. Okay, so let's go over to Death by Bungie. Where's your draw weight? We're showing that's fine, 200. Uh, a power stroke. Um, I am going to, hold on, let's just do this really quick. Um, my, I don't remember what my power stroke is. So we'll just go over here to 10 point. Look up my crossbow. Really quick. Um, all crossbows. There we go. Do do do. Let me just put that in here real quick. And XP four hundred. There it is. 
Okay, so what is my power stroke? Uh, my power stroke is 15.5. We'll go back over here. 15.5. Uh, so let's go. How fast is your cross? How fast is your how fast is your crossbow? And we'll do the center punch at 553. And what is the arrow weight? And that is 477. Okay. So the momentum is 787, they're saying here, kinetic energy, and the arrow at launch is 199, um, leftover is 58, with 77.35 overall efficiency, okay? So let's put in the thirty sets is the same. How fast is it? Did I do that wrong? Yes, I did. So let's put in how fast three fifty three fifty two. Okay, did I do that right? 353, and let's see that. Okay, so that's, so this is saying slugs 1.073, kinetic energy, that launch is 272, that there's minus 99, 1399 you know, overall finish is 105%. Interesting. Okay, so let's put in the zombie slayers. And that is 336. The weight is 531. So this is saying 711 slugs. Huh. So we're getting a different slug. You can see all that there. Overall efficiency and percentage overall energy in your crossbow puts into the arrow. Higher the number, the better. Okay. All right. So let's move over to Grumpy Old Hunter here. So. Current initial speed. So we're going to do the center punch. Um, and that's it. 353 again. And our weight and mass is 477. I'm going to put 477. I found this to make no difference here. Okay. Uh, weight 477, speed 353. Uh, momentum is set 0.75, and we're getting 0.79. And the kinetic energy 131. Oh, let me take that back. 75, and we're getting four 748. So that's pretty doggone close. Again, this is with the center punch. Kinetic energy is 131.96. Okay, so let's go down here for efficiency calculator. Speed, 353. Weight is 477. Calculate. So, current setup. I'm getting 95.095 performance. Best performance. That says that should be 504. Um, with a speed of 344. 
Kinetic energy at 132. Slugs or say momentum or slugs. 796 for an efficiency of 95025. Interesting. Very interesting. So I'm wondering if I went down to 100 grain tips, what that would give me. Maybe I'll do a speed test using 100 grain tips. Something to think about. Okay. So now let's put in the zombie slayers. Okay, so we're the uh, initial speed of 336, weight 531, weight 531, calculate. Okay, 336 momentum is 79. So we're doing pretty good there. Kinetic energy is still 133. So with the current setup, oh, let me go over here. Uh, speed 336. Weight 531. Calculate. So, it's basically giving me the same percentage here. So the highest, low 515, high 547, 341, 331, Okay, so I guess I got one more test, speed test to do. We will try it at, what did it say, 504 grains, 504 grains here. Uh, speed. Oh, that was with my center punch. So, um, we're still putting out a pretty good So we're basically two feet per second, or say foot pounds heavier at 131 to 133. Slugs, 0.48. So we're about 50 or so in momentum higher in the zombie slayers. Okay, so food for thought, 504 grains, does it hurt anything? I don't think so. So we'll try one at 504 grains or as close to as possible with the 100 grain tips. So let me, no, I don't have, I don't have everything here. Um, I'll try it. See what happens. Um, I mean, there's no hurt in trying a 500 or close to 504 grain tip, or 500 grain for 504 grain arrow, and do a comparison with them all. We'll do that. Um, so basically, everything is pretty doggone close with. The kinetic energy, the momentum, um, speed. Um, I mean, it doesn't hurt to try. So we will do that on our next show. About that. <laughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> Excuse me. We will do a comparison. with all three. So until next time, remember family first.
Take care of your family. By all means, get out there and hunt. And remember, these shows are dedicated to my son. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.